Hey, what's going on guys? It's IMXYZ. What is happening, my sayings? Today we are gonna do a brand new PC build. I haven't updated my PC in like five, seven years. And today I decided that for all the 4K editing, for the gaming, I'm just gonna build a hybrid computer. So this setup that I'm about to build is a hybrid between video editing and gaming, right? It's PS5 proof. Um, it's future proofed. It will last me for the next five to 10 years and it will do absolutely fantastic. What I have here is the G4, the GeForce RTX 2070 Super. And as you guys all know, it's right up there, not quite with the 2080, but for $500, you can't beat it. Um, we also got the Rip Jaws 16 gig um, RAM sticks. Right, we have the one terabyte solid state M2 drive. The speed on that against the SSD or a mechanical hard drive is crazy. We have the AMD Ryzen third gen processor right here, uh, 3700X. We also have the, the X570 Plus built-in Wi-Fi Bluetooth motherboard. And then we have the Landcool 205 PC case, which is basically it's the NX style case that everyone's using nowadays. And then I also have an additional power supply that's rated at, I believe, 750 or 800 watts with, a, uh, with another SSD drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of this together for you guys. The total cost of everything with um, the external power unit is about $1,500 to build. Future-proof 4K video editing. Now, if you compare that to the MacBook Pro, you compare it to anything else i think this is the perfect middle ground build for anybody looking to to not only game but to build their own content build their channel and just create things all right guys so we're opening up this bad boy let's see what this thing looks like oh if i can open it Break this box. And that's a big case. That's me blowing kisses to my son. There she is. Inside. Alright guys, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 850, the RM850X Corsair power supply and we're gonna install it. We're gonna slide it underneath and we're gonna install it at the bottom of the case so it's gonna look nice and sexy under there. So now we are going to add the motherboard to the PC. All right guys, so we just bolted down our motherboard to the case. We have the back plate on. Now we're going to install the RAM, the one terabyte M2, and the CPU. All right guys, so we have the, the RAM installed, the G skill, and what we're gonna do now is we are going to take the uh, one terabyte SSD M.2 and we are going to install it right here on the motherboard. So let's get to that. So we have the CPU right here, the Ryzen 3700X, the coolant fan right here. That bad boy. It already has a heat sink on the bottom, and we are going to install that bad boy right there in the CPU socket. All right, guys, so what we're about to do now is install the graphics card, and we are going to put this bad boy, I think it's heavy, we're going to put this bad boy right there. All right, we got the CPU, the CPU cooler, the fans installed, the motherboard, we have the SSD installed, we have the M2 SSD installed, and now it's time to install the graphics card. All right guys, so this is the um, motherboard from the back. I have my SSD drive that I'll be using for all of my storage outside of the M2 that will run the OS. I have my power supply and all my cords hidden in the back. Power supply unit. We have the, the back end with USB, um, USB 3.0. All that good stuff. This is Wi-Fi 5. On the other side, we have the CPU fan. We have the GPU, we have the fans, VRAM, and everything is looking nice and clean. So now we're gonna put this bad boy together and see what's up. 
All right, she's finally done. Let's go hook her up and see what all the hype's about. All right, guys, so you guys don't know, I'm still here. The, the PC was fully built and then it wasn't turning on, so I wanted to let all of my gamers out there, my PC builders, that they just built their PC and it's not turning on, a few things to check for. Make sure your RAM sticks are securely in. Make sure your C CPU socket's securely in. Like with the AMD, there's a lever over here you wanna make sure you switch. Make sure you use the four by four pins right here for your motherboard. You have that securely plugged in. But one of the big things that I just realized that I was doing wrong was my power negative, power positive, power switch for the case was wrong. You wanna make sure that that's right so your PC can turn off. All right, bye.